Leo Terrell calls for Biden's impeachment over Texas murder. This administration has blood on its hands. Civil rights attorney Leo Terrell has called for Democrat President Joe Biden to face impeachment in response to the brutal mass murder in Texas. On Tuesday, a five-time deported illegal alien was arrested as a suspect in the case. As Slay News reported, Francisco Oropesa is accused of killing five neighbors, including an eight-year-old child, in Cleveland, Texas, over the weekend. 38-year-old Oropesa was taken into custody in the Cleveland area by the Border Patrol Tactical Unit on Tuesday. The incident has renewed attention to Biden's failed border policy as illegal aliens continue to pour into the United States. On Fox News' Hannity, host Sean Hannity argued that Biden has defied his oath of office in aiding and abetting in the lawbreaking by allowing these people into this country illegally. Hannity pointed to reports that illegal immigrants are offered anything from free cell phones to free interstate transportation. He also noted that illegals receive preferential treatment during the pandemic. Terrell joined Hannity on his show and blasted the open border policy of the Biden administration. Uh, Sean, I think you just drafted the first article of impeachment for Joe Biden because Joe Biden has I, failed I to uphold like. his constitutional duty. Yeah, you have just you have just written the first article of impeachment because he should be impeached. I mean, basically, this administration has blood on its hand. And as Laura Trump was talking about a change in leadership, if there was ever a case for Donald Trump to be president is the southern border. We had a secure border under President Trump, and that's what is missing. And I'll tell you right now, besides what's going on, he has basically opened the doors to the drug cartel, sex trafficking, the fentanyl. Joe Biden has basically breached and abandoned his obligation as president in protecting this country from foreign enemies. Right. Leo, I got a question. If you were my attorney and I was arrested, because uh, I went down to the border and I picked somebody up and I drove them to California or New York or any other state, uh, would I be arrested for human trafficking and likely convicted even if you, the great attorney that you are, were representing me? Absolutely. And this is what's going on. There's a lot of accessories to the human trafficking. These, these are people in this country who are aiding and abetting people to get into this country illegally. They would be convicted. No matter how great of a lawyer I may be, I'm going to lose those cases because that is what's happening right now. All right, let me bring in Tommy Laren. Tommy, I know, you know, for the better part of your career, you have focused uh, a lot of attention on the issue of the border and the illegal immigration. Uh, it was under control under President Trump. You see what's happening now. We're at, what, nearly six and a half million illegal immigrants that we know of that have come into the country under, under Joe Biden. Uh, we know how to fix it. He doesn't want to fix it. Obviously, he wants this policy to continue. They won't recognize what's happening as a crisis because the Democrats do not see this as a crisis. They see it as an opportunity. It is, in fact, a crisis, but when they want more voters into this country, they're going to make sure that they do that by any means possible. They're already uh, planning on giving these people amnesty at some point, and then we know voting rights is going to come right along with it. So this is all by design. Democrats play the long game. But let's talk about this illegal immigrant, this fugitive, this murderer who executed his neighbors. Let's also keep in mind that in sanctuary cities and states, local law enforcement would not be able to cooperate with ICE. So how many people like this Francisco Oropesa are existing now in these sanctuary cities and these sanctuary states around the country? These are criminal, illegal aliens that are on the loose by design, by Democrat policies, not just by Joe Biden, but by Gavin Newsom. And when you look at the other cities and states that have passed similar laws, this is by design. This is a dereliction of duty, putting Americans in harm's way on purpose. And this absolutely should be an impeachable offense. Well, let me go back to Leo. <clears throat> this became a big deal today. It was on the front page of uh, the New York Post, the New York City mayor, Eric Adams. And I thought New York City oh. was supposed to be a sanctuary city. Doubled down, accusing the Texas governor, Greg Abbott, of targeting, quote, black mayors. Uh, he doubled down on that accusation about Abbott uh, with these buses full of migrants now in total, you have about 15,000 illegal immigrants that came to New York City. Um, now, the question is, if it's a sanctuary city and a state, my question is, I would think that they would have their arms wide open saying, welcome to our city. But apparently, they're calling the governor of Texas racist or making that suggestion. 
I am so offended by this ultimate race car. He's using the race car to deflect from his incompetence. He is an absolutely horrific mayor. And when he talks about L.A. and Chicago, where there's other black mayors, why do you think people are leaving? Because these are horrible Democratic mayors who talk a game of sanctuary cities but don't want the bird. Look at Washington, D.C., Eric Adams. Look at Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and that incompetent White House press secretary who lies all the time about the number of, uh, of the reduction in, in, in immigration. You have to get the, those scoundrels out of office and put Donald Trump back in office. I want you, Tommy, I'll give you a, a crack at that.